And hello, 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 and welcome to another Unreal Unit of the Week. And we're stuck in a raw game, and this week's unit is the South African Roy Valk. During the border wars between South Africa and its neighbours, especially in the 80s, there was a need for a proper attack helicopter. At that time, the two real helicopters being used were the Alicat and the Puma, and so the need for a proper attack helicopter with anti-tank guided missiles and a proper cannon was desired. However, at this time, there was an arms embargo against South Africa, so they would have to make an attack helicopter themselves. Making a helicopter completely from scratch is a pretty hard business, and so they decided to base a design using parts from the Puma, which would eventually be the upgraded Oryx helicopter, which was an improvement upgrade over the Puma. The first prototype would actually be the XD Alpha, which is a reconnaissance helicopter in the South African Defence Force. In the real world, they only actually made one of them, and it was really just a set of bed to see if they could actually design an attack helicopter, and this would enter into service or make its first flight in 1985. The Roy Valkes Reno, however, would take its first prototype flight in 1990. However, it would not be till April 1st of 2011 when it was officially introduced into the South African service. And they only made 12 of these helicopters, and only a few of them actually seen actual combat use during the UN peacekeeping mission in the Congo in 2013. In-game, the Roy Valk is a South African 120-point attack helicopter, and it has three weapons. So you have a 20mm autocannon with 900 rounds, you have eight anti-tank guided missiles, and four Mistral air-to-air -air missiles. It's a pretty balanced loadout. The auto cannon is for dealing with light targets, and it's a pretty alright run. Yeah, only 20 millimeters, but you could be doing much worse. The anti-tank missiles are pretty damn nuts. You have the 2.8 kilometer range, extremely accurate, and more importantly, 26 arm penetration power. That's pretty damn powerful. And then the Mistral missiles, of course, are well, your Mistral missiles. They will just blow up helicopters pretty easy peasy like, and also aircraft who get a little bit too close. Hop down to the miscellaneous stat, it has one front and side armor, nothing at back, and of course, nothing on the top. Be a bit weird if a helicopter got attacked from the top, but I guess that's cluster munitions. Anyway, it has 8 HP with medium size, medium optics, goes 300 kilometers an hour, has poor stealth, an autonomy of 750 kilometers, it's a prototype, and also only available to airborne and motorized decks. During battle, the Roy Val is your South African premium attack helicopter, and well, it's pretty damn good for what you are getting. You're mainly going to be bringing this up really for the anti-tank role, as for South Africans, especially South African motorized, you don't have a whole lot of ground-based heavy anti-tank weaponry, and these missiles are essentially similar to the regular Hellfire missiles, not the Apache Longbow runs, so at 2.8 km range and 26 AP, means you're going to be doing a lot of damage to super heavy tanks, really it's 2-3 to three shots to kill said super heavy tank from the front. However, there is also a pretty good argument that you could really just be getting the Beta 90. It is 30 points cheaper and you still get the same amount of very deadly anti-tank missiles and that's definitely a little bit more worthwhile purely for the anti-tank road, though it is a little bit slower and a little bit weaker. Now, of course, this isn't just a one-trick pony. It also has some Mistral missiles, which gives you very good anti-helicopter capabilities. It's actually not a terrible idea, or an expensive one, to open up with a Roy Valk backed up with a recon helicopter, as if you run into enemy helicopters early on in the match, you can actually shoot them down, and then you can preferably snipe anything with the anti-tank guided missiles. You have a pretty standard availability of four trained Roy Valks and two hardened Roy Valks in your standard South African motorized deck. Which is not all that bad, I mean really you just want to take you on trained runs is, well, losing the half availability for a little bit of veteran sheet is not really worthwhile. And also it's this war game, you can just buff up the veteran sheet by getting lots of kills. Overall the Roy Valk is a pretty good attack helicopter. I find it to be a very important piece of equipment, especially in South African motorized decks, because... This is pretty much going to be one of your best ways of blowing up tanks that isn't using aircraft 
or flanker the Emery of Roycat 105s. It's a little bit pricey, you could say, and arguably the Beta 90 is a little bit more useful in pure anti-tank role, but just a 30 points for a bit of extra HP, the speed, as well as pretty decent anti-air capability, really lets the Roy Valk stand out from the crowd from other Blue 4 attack helicopters. And well, I'm gonna leave it off at yeah, This has been another Rangrujun of the week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And usual, please just take it easy.